back to Albuquerque. This is Flow Track's presentation of the Dr. Martin Luther King Collegiate Invitational. I'm Hayden Cox, bringing you the action all day long. And we are getting started here with the men's mile. This is going to be a great, great race. On your mark. You can see the starters on your screen. Two men to highlight. Eamon Kemboy of Puma Elite. 11 time All American while racing for Arkansas, based out of North Carolina with that Puma squad. Placed second at the highly prestigious Boston opener with 13 and 15 and 15 from last year. Ran at 353 road mile in September. The other man to keep an eye on is the hometown boy, Hatsum Samuel, representing the red. He's got that two on his. Half tights there on the outside. Half of his incredible cross country runner. One Roy Kriak by 24 seconds in debut. Went on to get second at the cross country championship behind Graham Blank. Completely fresh. Four time top tens at World 20, 17th the World Champs in 10K. Just an incredible, incredible runner for New Mexico. Right now it's Patrick Fever of Puma doing the early work. We'll see if he's the base setter or if he's. Sticking through, that's 59. We've got a lot of sub four athletes on the track. A little harder to do at altitude. Remember, they will get a conversion back down for their national list or conference list. Patrick Beaver putting in the work. Well, an iconic upset victory over Powerhouse and reigning against the Lake Cross Pitcher Champ on a Mance back in 2021 at outdoors in the 10K. Beaver, a really strong record a runner, British national, spent two years in England of a traditional freshman in his sophomore year before being for Tulsa for here. Four All-American honors and six All-Conference honors in the American Conference while competing for the Golden Hurricane. Right now, he's leading Eamon Kemboy, who's sitting in second. Eamon Kemboy running very well. That's Jack Rose sitting behind them in third. Hapton Samuel, the collegiate, the hometown kid. He may have a collegiate uniform on chasing the professionals, but Samuel is no joke. He is just as good as these gentlemen up front, so expecting him to do well in this race. The odds of Adam State also running pretty well, sitting back there in fit. Deaver continuing to do the work up front. I think Deaver is just going to be a pace setter here, though. We'll see how long he sticks around. Samuel looking smooth in fourth. That's happy Samuel in the red. And that's actually Obara in fifth. Obara of Ayoma Gakuen University. Miki Obara starting to slip a little bit as they come through the K and a little bit under 230. A little under 230. Let's see if we can break four. It has been the year of sub fours at altitude. We saw a sub four at BYU. We saw Nico Young sub four at over 7,000 feet of elevation in Flagstaff yesterday. Can we get another sub four up at altitude? Eamon Kemboy is going to try to do the work up front, the Arkansas All-American now running for Puma Elite. Adam Samuel trying to give him a run. We're going to have 400 meters to go. Let's see, 259. 259 with 400 meters to go. Can we get a sub four at altitude here in Albuquerque? Eamon Kemboy has stepped on the gas. Adam Samuel perhaps a little bit more used to the elevation training up here in Albuquerque. He's back in second. But Eamon Kemboy, the 11-time All-American, is in the lead. Kemboy glanced it over his shoulder. Still plenty of room to run. There's 250 meters left as Kemboy is in the lead. Kemboy continues to lead. Samuel slipping back a little bit in second. He's running back there with Jack Rowe. Sorry, is that? I think that's Jack Rowe. Let's get a bit number. Yeah, it is Jack Rowe in second. Samuel trying to hold on. We've got about 100 meters to go. Samuel holding on in third there. That's Jack Rowe in second. But up front, it's Eamon Kemboy. Are we going to get sub four from Eamon Kemboy? He's got about 50 meters left to go as he turns this corner. Look at the clock, 3.53 now. Can he get under four? Samuel starting to charge. Huge move there with 100 meters to go. Can he get sub four too? 58 for Kemboy, and I think we got a sub four for Samuel as well. What a great race. Eamon Kemboy, your winner of the Puma Elite running team. One of the most talented athletes in the world, Eamon Kemboy. Always fun to watch. Was a killer at Arkansas. Now running in the blue of Puma. Haptim Samuel gets the sub four. 359, one, two. Sub four at altitude, man. That is something else. Jack Rowe as well. 359, eight, two. We'll get the sub four as well. I believe Rowe will try to be, come back for some national championships later this indoor season. 
Hadzim Samuel will have certainly punched his ticket to the NCAA indoors. Remember, they get a conversion too. So we will see what that is good for after that gets adjusted down due to the altitude. But what a great race there. Let's take a quick look at the NCAA list. Right now it's 348.71 is the top NCAA time. Of course, that's an adjusted time from Nico Young up at altitude. Three NAU boys, one, two, three. Samuel will be up there soon. Sub four alone will get him in the top 10, and he'll get that adjustment as well due to the 5,000 feet of elevation. But wow, catch your breath, ladies and gentlemen. Three sub fours in the yeah, Albuquerque Convention Center at 5,000 feet. And I will do the same as we get ready for heat number two. 